kind of start this video is I was I was deciding if I should do like a speechless thing or just like an epic scream and I couldn't decide so that was the byproduct. Because the Harry Potter and the Deadly Hallows Part 2, Harry Potter 8, the final Harry Potter movie, the trailer was released last night on ABC Family or premiered last night. Now this is the first dedicated now this is the first dedicated trailer that there, now, this is the first dedicated trailer there is for the movie. I don't know. Now, only with a couple months till it's released, I don't know if they're going to try to release another one. I don't know where they're going to put it in theaters. But, oh my god! I probably watched this trailer like 30 times now. Uh, from the moment I saw it, I instantly went online trying to find like a whole bunch of different places to find it. And it went on YouTube. And just I just keep rewatching it. I, and it's not long. It's, all, it's le a little less than two minutes. But it has to be one of the most just epic trailers I've ever seen and maybe that's just because there's just so much build up because you know this is the final movie uh, it's just such a big series with just so much put into it just this huge huge phenomenon and it's coming to an end so maybe that's the result uh, but I still think the trailer is just fantastically done they really put a lot of effort into this uh, I, I, I didn't know how it was going to turn out I was wary because I, I they the the DVD for the first part was released a couple of weeks back, and I, I was kind of uh, nervous that they would just release a uh, you know, re-edited version of the sneak peek footage, uh, but no, they it's almost entirely new footage. I, I do hope they release more trailers, but I, at the same time, I don't want them to give anything away. Like, I know what happens, I read the books, but I mean, like, I do have friends that didn't read the books but are really invested in the movies, and I, you know, it's just a really stunning conclusion. And they don't, they really don't do any, uh, give anything away. Uh, the majority of the footage we see is from Hogwarts, the big battle at Hogwarts, but that's what I expect most of the movie. In relation to Deathly Owls Part 1 with the book, they got about a little less than 500 pages in, give or take. Uh, so there's really not, there's only 200 some odd pages left for them to, uh, translate into film, uh, for the last part, so I'm expecting they're gonna be, well, I, I don't mean to use drag out in, like, a derogatory fashion, but they're really going to expand this, you know, for the full length of the movie, and give it uh, what it deserves, it's just, uh, just epicness, because... I, I, there were certain parts of Deathly Hallows when I first read it that I didn't really like, and I've come to like better now, but damn, the last 200 pages have some amazing twists, some of the best action, uh, just written in the series, and overall, I, I, just really stunning, stunning last couple chapters. And it should make for an explosive movie, so, uh, from the footage, what we see, we see Gringotts, uh, we see a little, yeah, we see a lot of the, uh, the battle at Hogwarts, we get to see some interaction between Harry and Voldemort, so, uh, <laughs> it just looks like this huge, epic adventure, I can, I simply cannot wait. While they were really trying to sport the action in this show, they also made it quite clear that this is going to be as well an emotional climax uh, for the series, obviously being the last one. It's going to be very dark. A lot of uh, you know, very deep things are going to happen. Uh, I was already super excited for this movie, and I don't, f I, I, I can't remember ever being so excited for the movie uh, for a movie. The last time was like Spider-Man Three when I was in like, uh, back in 2006, 2007. I was really looking forward to that movie, but I think this movie overtakes that, and I really hope it doesn't turn out quite disappointing like that. Just to create this collage of action, the, most of the clips that were shown are very brief, uh, very vague, So I, I, which I think is good for people who don't know what's going on. You know, it gets you excited, but at the same time, it's not giving anything away. Uh, just from, you know, my knowledge, from what I speculate, what I'm seeing, I, there's the there's a small shot of the Diadem of Ravenclaw, uh, we see the dragon, uh, the Gringotts in the tunnel, uh, I'm guessing that very opening shot from the flashback scenes, I'm guessing that's supposed to be Lily and Petunia, um, so really, that <laughs> this trailer looks so awesome, and I don't know, like, what other adjectives I can use other than, like, epic and stunning, because that's what this trailer is. I'm so excited. Tell me what, uh, you guys thought of the trailer below, if you're a big Harry Potter fan, if you've read the books, just let me know what you thought, because I thought it was freaking awesome. I am eagerly anticipating July 15th, and I, I am eagerly, I am eagerly anticipating July 15th, and until then, I'll enjoy the time surrounding myself with all things Harry Potter. So here's to wholehearted anticipation.
friends to die for you rather than face me yourself. On this night, join me and confront your fate. Did any of you to die for me? Come on, Tom. Let's finish this the way we started. Together! Thank <laughs> you.